Hi there, my name is David. I'm a consultant engineer at Full Proxy. Today we're going to be showing you how to protect your web based assets using a combination of F5's Access Policy Manager and Okta using SAML 2.0. We'll deploy the F5 APM as a SAML service provider and Okta will be our SAML identity provider facilitating our AD authentication and providing us with a SAML assertion required by the F5 service provider before granting access to our website. Here's a quick overview of our environment showing the F5 service provider at the bottom of the screen and the Okta IDP at the top. Ahead of time we've integrated our full proxy active directory with Okta to facilitate our requirement for AD authentication. First of all, we need to log into our Okta admin portal and set up our published application. As we've already enabled Okta Verify for our admin access, we'll start by authenticating with that. Okay, let's get started. First of all, we need to create our new app within Okta. Click on the Add Application and create a new app. Select Web and SAML 2.0, click Create. Give the application a descriptive name and optionally, you can upload a logo for easy identification. Click Next. Next, we'll enter our single sign-on URL, which is the location that the SAML assertion will be sent to. Enter your entity ID, which is going to be your full URL, followed by forward slash SP and we just need to ensure that the assertion is signed just to prove its authenticity from the IDP. Okay, so we're a customer, so we'll select the top option here. And next again. Okay, so that's the app created. Let's have a look at the setup instructions. Going to need to take a note of all of these values or leave this page open in the background because you are going to dip in to uh, to grab these for uh, copy and paste activities going forward. Um, one thing I would recommend is to copy and paste the uh, metadata and uh, put it into a notepad and save it as an XML because it will be an uploadable uh, file later in the uh, setup process. So, okay, let's next assign uh, the application to a user within uh, Okta. These are our Active Directory users which have already been uh, imported via an AD sync. So we'll just assign that and we'll assign it to Donald as well. All right, if we click done. Okay, now over to the F5. What we'll do is import a certificate from the uh, text that we had earlier. Uh, just give it a certificate name, something meaningful. And just copy and paste the certificate value into the box and click import. That's the certificate done. Now we'll open up the Access Policy Manager and add our SAML service provider. Click create. Okay, give the SAML service provider a meaningful name. It could be anything you like. And then enter the entity as used earlier. Security settings, just ensure that that is uh, signed. And click on bind and bind IDP. Now we're using metadata option. And if you could select the metadata file that you created earlier. And again, the identity provider name uh, can be anything you like, but it should be something meaningful. And select no to the certificate. And OK. All right, now if you add a new field and select the IDP from earlier, and it's a URI based because it's a web based app. And click update and okay. And that's the IDP set up. 
Okay, let's create a access policy. Give the policy a name. Profile type can be all APM LTM. Select the language. Enter the policy editor. I'm going to select SAML as the authentication type. Now we select the SP from earlier. Click save. Change this to allow. Click save again. And apply the access policy. Now we'll just quickly create a virtual server. Um, to speed of this part up just because it's normal operation. Uh, we'll just add our certificates front and back. Add the uh, VLANs and the order map. Add the access policy that we've created earlier. Specify the pool and click finished. All right, time to test. Just browse to that URL that we set up. And we're prompted with our Okta redirect. Enter our AD credentials. And click sign in. And that's our web application protected using AD authentication and SAML 2.0 via Okta. Okay, that's it for this video. Thanks for watching. Uh, please do like, comment and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Stay tuned for more Okta videos coming up.